Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with my picks for week 14 of the NFL season. But every week we talk about what happened the week before. Well, you know what? The week before, week 13, was really good for the sportsman. Yeah, I was 10-4 and four this week. 10-4, and four, quite impressive. It's one of my best weeks since I don't even know what my last really good week was. But 10-4 and four for 14 games, that is really good. The Steelers helped me out a lot. Actually, really, um, Jim Harbaugh helped me out a lot by going for two at the end of the Steeler game um, to get the win, and he didn't get the two points. So, yeah, 10-4 um, and four this week, an impressive record for the sportsman for any given week, uh, but really good. And, as you can see, I got my Navy jersey on because this weekend, coming up on Saturday at 3 o'clock, is the Army-Navy game. And Sportsman Z was in the Navy for four years. Not four years I would like to remember fondly, but they were four years that I spent in the Navy. And uh, so we're going to be rooting for Navy this um, coming weekend. And uh, with that, let's get into my picks for the NFL this coming week. So let's get into the picks. Now, uh, this week uh, we've got some, some anomalies that I'm going to go against what I have said in the past. And uh, when we come to those games, I will point them out. But we're going to start with the Thursday, December 9th game. And that's going to be the Vikings are at home against the Steelers. Now, you know, last week I got the Steelers right because Harbaugh decided to go for a two-point conversion at the end of the game that he didn't get. But even though the Steelers came through for me and the Vikings looked crappy last week against the Lions, and really if you lose to the Lions, you looked crappy. I'm still going to go with the Vikings in this one, take the Vikings over the Steelers, even though... The Steelers were impressive, and the Vikings weren't last week. That brings us to the Sunday, December 12th games. And the first game on that docket is the Packers are at home against the Bears. Now, I want to preface this one by saying I'm putting up a 2020 Packers versus the 2020 Bears game. Packers at home um, in Stratomatic football. And that's going up on Saturday. So if you want to check that out, the 2020 Packers hosting the 2020 Bears. You don't want to miss that. But you don't want to miss this one either. It's the oldest game in the book. The oldest game on the books. And uh, yeah, so lately the Bears are just crap and uh, the Packers are great. So we're going to go with the Pack here. You know, I don't even know. You know, even if Rodgers was out for some reason, I might still take the Packers in that one. But I'm definitely with knowing, thinking that Rodgers is going to play, and I have no reason not to think that. I would definitely go with the Packers. Uh, the next one we got, the Browns are at home against the Ravens, and the Ravens are beat up, and they lost to the Steelers on a two-point conversion that they tried at the end of the game when a field goal could have tied the game, and Harbaugh went for the two to try to win the game right then and there because he was beat up at the corners and they didn't have any more cornerbacks. So he's admitted the team is really beat up. Now the Browns might be too, but I'm kind of recalling that maybe the Browns were off last week, so they've had a week to rest and to plan for the uh, Ravens. And the Ravens lately have not looked all that great. So I'm going to go in this one with the Browns. We're going to take the Browns at home over the Ravoids. So let's do that. And then uh, the next one you've got is the, um, what is this? The Washington football team is hosting the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I hate, 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 hate 
Really, I hate two things in this matchup. I hate picking the Cowboys to win because they're always underwhelming, or most of the time they're underwhelming. And I hate picking against Washington because Washington, they don't look like an impressive team, but they just win. That's all they do. They just keep winning. But I'm still going to go with the Cowboys against my better judgment on this one. We're going to say go with the Cowboys against Washington. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Even though Washington has played well, even though Washington is at home. I know it's like a double whammy that I'm picking against. And even though Dallas has failed to put teams away that they should be beating. Really like beating up on. They just don't. But I'm still going to go with the Cowboys. I I can't pick against that Cowboy. They've got too much talent. If they could ever, you know, if they could ever be coached well, they might win. So um, I'm going to go with the Cowboys there. The next one you have is the Chiefs are at home against the Raiders. You know what? I'm going with the Chiefs in this one. I think the Chiefs have hit their stride. And they're at home. Those boys at home, man, you do not want to play the Chiefs at home. But they've, they've caught their mojo that they had the last two years. And uh, I think they've ditched the, uh, the bad Kansas City uh, Chiefs that they were the first, like, six games of the year. So we're going to go with the Chiefs there. Next one you got is the... Texans are at home against the Seahawks, but I'm going with the Seahawks. Yeah, I mean, you know. The Seahawks, I don't know I don't know really if they're playing for anything, but, you know, they, you know, they're not that impressive. They really aren't. But they're playing the Texans. I mean, what am I going to say about that? The next one we have, now this is where I'm going against what I said earlier. Okay, in earlier videos, we have the Titans at home against the Jaguars. I said that I would never, ever, ever pick the Titans to beat a crappy team again because they always lose to crappy teams. But I think they were off last week. And I think Vrabel is like, yeah, you know what? I got nothing else to do. I might as well game plan for the Jaguars. So I'm going to assume that he's not going to take the Jaguars lightly in this one, and we're going to go with the Titans, even though, as I said, they always lose to bad teams. They lost to the Jets. They lost to uh, the Texans. I think they lost to the Texans. I mean, they just always lose to bad teams. I don't know what's going on with those boys. But I don't think it's going to happen this week against the Jaguars. I thought about it. I mulled it over, but no, I'm still going to go with the Titans. All right, the next one we have, though, is a surprise. It may be a surprise to people. You got the Saints going into the Meadowlands or East Rutherford, New Jersey, or wherever it is that the Jets play. I don't know. But guess what? We're going with the Jets. Now, that brain that you gave me, was it Hans Delbrooks? No. Ah. Good. Uh, would you mind telling me whose brain I did put in? And you won't be angry. I will not be angry. Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Yes, we're going with the Jets. Um, I am going to pick the Jets to beat the Saints. The Saints are just, they're reeling, they're in disarray. They thought that their um, jack-of-all-knives trade guy, Hill, was the, the solution at quarterback. Really turns out he's not. If you don't play Hill at quarterback, you got to play that Semyon guy. I don't know. I, I, just, I don't think they know what they're doing. And I don't think Sean, even Sean Payton knows what's going on. So I'm going to pick the Saints to lose to the Jets, particularly because the Jets are at home. Uh, the next one we have is the um, Panthers hosting the Falcons. And in this one, I got all kinds of hair and stuff. What is this? 
All right. So anyway, I got all kinds of hair coming off of these things. Hair and, um, like, I don't know, dust bunnies. I don't know where those come from. But anyway, we're going to go with the falcons with the, you know, dust bunny hair thing, thing on top of them. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go with the falcons in that one. Falcons to beat the Panthers, even though the Panthers are at home. Uh... Next one you got is the Broncos are at home against the Lions. I know the Lions got their first win, and it was against a Vikings team that has, well, really, I don't know what the Vikings have been doing, but they played close games, and this one, I think this one, was it a close one? Not sure, but I'm going to go with the uh, Broncos. The Broncos are at home. It's in Denver. <coughs> Lord knows there could be a snowstorm. Who knows if Detroit can play in that? Really, who knows if the Broncos can play in that? But I'm still going to go with the Broncos. The next one you got, the Chargers are at home against the Giants. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Take the Chargers. They were impressive in beating the Cincinnati Bengals last week. And the Giants still have not righted the ship. I don't expect the ship to be righted anytime soon. So we're going to go with the Chargers in that one. Next one you have is the Bengals are at home against the 49ers. Now last week, you know, I threw my cousin a bone. I picked the, here we go again with the, I, man. Um, here we go again, but anyway, uh, I'm, we've got the uh, 49ers. I tried to throw my cousin a bone and pick the 49ers for him, and then they lost. So we're going to go back. I don't know. Maybe it's because I picked the 49ers to win, they lose, and if I don't pick them to win, they win. So we're going to say, <sighs> these dust bunnies, they're crazy. Uh, we're going to go with the, uh, with the uh, Bengals. Over the 49ers. Get the 49ers out of here. So take the Bengals in that one. Last, or not the last one, but the last one on Sunday. This will be the Sunday night game. It's going to be the Buccaneers at home against the Bills. I'm going with the Buccaneers. They're the world champions. They're on a roll. They're playing pretty well. Uh, Brady seems to know what he's doing. I think he's hit his groove now. And the Bills... The Bills are reeling. They're in disarray. They're in disarray. So we're not uh, going to pick the Bills is what's going to be the thing there. We're taking the Buccaneers. And then finally, you got the Cardinals are at home against the Rams. The Rams and Stafford just, I mean, you know, they beat the Jaguars last week, but that was really a given. So we're going to go with the Cardinals. Kyler Murray is back. He's back and bigger than life. That's your Monday, December 13th game, Monday night game. And uh, the four teams that will be on a bye this week are the Colts, the Dolphins, the Patriots, and the Eagles. So uh, those are the teams that are on a bye. I don't know if that's good or bad for me, but I do know that I like those picks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. The more interaction with the video, the better for me. And, uh, you know, if you just want to say what games you think are different, you can do that. Leave me a link to your video and I will watch your video. But that's going to be it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.